Hey guys, it is January 13th. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what's going on. And if you remember from my last vlog, I was not on track last night. But if I sit here and I go, not so proud of the choices I made yesterday, that's what's going to make me have an off track day. So I have a feeling I am going to be gaining weight today. Hello, it's ready. 510.0 pounds. The guilt I feel from being off track though, definitely motivates me to stay on track today oh my god i did not gain as much as i thought i was going to so that is a big relief Five ten point zero. and yesterday was the off track day i just came back in with walking twinkie and i swear my fingers are numb y'all it is freezing it's like literally 10 degrees outside. It's supposed to snow tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to that. There was an earthquake last night. I'm not cut out for this type of weather. Like I want the spring and the fall 24 seven. Like that's what I need in my life. And that's what should be here every single day. Now I'm about to go out. We're, me and my mom, we're gonna hang out. We might surprise my grandma and show up there. Okay, so we're about to go into this place called Big Box. It's just like a bunch of Amazon stuff that was never delivered. It's a bin store. The Elon Musk of Big Box. What's this, Amber? <laughs> oh my god. What is that? <laughs> I'm not getting that ever. No? No, it's too much. You gotta drink your water though. I just My mom got this uh, 365 days of words to inspire, but it is a 2022 calendar. What's today's? It says your future is bright. Isn't that cute? That is cute. It's cute. Okay, but look, still, I love all these positive. You look like a million bucks. All oh, thanks. <laughs> you look incredibly stupid. <laughs> look, be silly, be honest, be kind. I love that. Me too. And like every single one is like art. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm obsessed. It's adorbs. <laughs> adorbs. Did she? Did she just say that? Keep your enthusiasm. Yeah, that's Keep cute. it up, Amber. This was 75 cents. Today's forecast, 100%. <laughs> Fantastic. Hell yeah. It's actually super cute. Do your best. Look, how could you? So I saw this icon cinema and I was like, what is that? Is that where all Amberlynn Reed's videos are performed? Get it? Haha. -ha. In your dreams. 24 hours later. Hey guys, it is the next day, January 14th. Let's do the weigh in. Hello. It's ready. Thank you. 509.6 pounds. I was hoping for a bigger loss because I feel like I barely ate anything yesterday. 509.6. Yesterday, I was on track. So tomorrow is week two weigh-in. So this can go, can go like any way. I could do good today and lose more weight or tonight, which is usually nighttime where I slip up and do bad. I could do really bad and gain a few pounds overnight and then not lose anything though. but i'm hopeful i'm hopeful that that won't happen but for some reason vidalia onion beef patties just sounded so good and i put some shredded cheese on top and it melted and it was delicious so i'm actually about to make one right now two hours later y'all i have been lego obsessed isn't it so cute and like you could put these pictures in here and they like come out. I have no more Legos left. I do have two knockoff Legos. So I just ordered a couple more Lego brand Legos off of Amazon. By the way, this is a no from me. Oh, it was so gross. Like I took one bite and I hated it. Like, how do you eat like that and still look like you do? I got this from 7-Eleven. It's just like a beef stick. Like there's this weird layer on the outside that is just not good. I usually like a beef stick. That's what she said. That's what she said. I know that's shocking. I, I know, because I'm not a meat girly, but some of them are good. This new. So don't get that, folks. Yep. The following day. Hello, it is January 15th. It is Monday. And Mondays are the official weigh-in. Hello. Hello. It's ready. 507.4 pounds. Yes! I was on track yesterday. I did really freaking good. Oh my god, I'm so happy with this. 
But you want a cookie? Well, I was 507.4. I was on track yesterday. This week, I am down 5.2. And in total, this year so far, I'm down 8.4 pounds because my goal is to lose 100 pounds this year. I just need to lose 1.9 pounds a week. I am so proud of this weigh-in. Yay. Okay, guys. So I went on to Instagram. I told you guys to ask me questions. When's the last time you drank alcohol? I actually have not drank since December 31st because I did drink on New Year's Eve and I haven't drank since then. Did it snow in Oklahoma? Yes, it did. Favorite thing about living in Oklahoma so far? Definitely living on my own. I love living on my own. It's like my own little like haven sanctuary i like doing things on my time my rules i can do whatever i want everything is mine and i don't know just something about it is just so free when will you be ready for a relationship i kind of like the single life of course there is things that i miss about being in a relationship come here come here uh, yeah i can't one reach my arm in and bend down and grab my because my stomach is in the way and um, it's just really embarrassing. I, I was stuck there. I screamed for Becky. But I honestly think it's just like, I'm missing those things with my ex. We don't have to get into like detail, but there are just like a lot of things that I miss with her specifically. When did you start listening to The Weeknd? So it was 2011. It was when I heard Same Old Song. I became obsessed with him. There's like a few artists that I am just like majorly obsessed with. And my most recent ex actually surprised me with like a poster. It was so sweet of her because she had a record player and she wanted to put some posters near it. And she put one of my favorite artists up there. But I want to show you what Feline did. So here we have a J. Cole poster. We have the weekend poster. She actually chose the weekend. She didn't really care for the weekend like I did, but she did it for me. She, she surprised me. I thought that was sweet. But the weekend, me and the weekend, we've, we're besties, okay? What are your thoughts on sending nudes? Get nude, get nude, please get nude. So honestly, that is something that um, I low key do. do it if I'm really connected with someone, we're really into each other. <laughs> if you two are vibing and they're like, hey, you want to send over like a, a titty pic? <laughs> hey, guys, hey, I saw it again and it's all darkness. But I don't see anything wrong with it. Like if two people are into each other, go for it. Look at my sexy body. So the last question I'm gonna do is, how do you feel about Becky talking about you again? So honestly, I find it a little weird, only because she was the one who initially said, keep my name out your mouth or the law is gonna get involved. Keep my wife's name out your mouth. And then I think it was a few months later, I brought up the law just to remind her that that was initially what she wanted. But like now she's talking about me, I don't know. Share your story, share your truth. I, I don't know what else to say about it at this point because I'm just not really into this whole, let's talk shit about our ex for money. Or you just beg for money on the internet. I did go against my morals at the time when Destiny started saying all those things about me and I went on live stream and then started doing the same. She can do whatever she wants and I'm not gonna say a damn thing because I just wish her nothing but healing, happiness, health, success, all the good things in the world. I was in a very bad headspace at the time, but I'm not gonna let that be an excuse because even if I was in a bad one now, I still wouldn't let myself succumb to that type of energy because I'm not gonna do it. But it is a little confusing because she was the one who initially brought up the law. Okay guys, so I have an Amazon haul and I really hurt my finger. This nail almost came off. You guys, it hurt so bad when I was opening these boxes. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so I got some slippers and I got some Legos. I got some roller skates and the newest one, which is the bouquet of roses. So here are the slippers. Let's see if they fit. They actually fit perfect. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie to you. The last two days has been so boring. I have been wanting to go outside and walk, but I can't because we are snowed in. And I've been really, really itching to do the mile walk without Twinkie. I haven't been able to take Twinkie to the uh, dog park, but that is like literally part of my apartment complex. I know the next couple of months is just gonna be freezing cold. Like I cannot imagine myself walking in 10 degree weather. Once it starts getting up like the 50s and 60s, that's like perfect walking weather in my opinion. It's just hard to find shoes that like work for me. Anyways, I hope that you guys did enjoy this vlog and I'll see you in my next one, bye. Quiet driving me insane Silence rattles in my brain Yeah, I gotta get away